Hey side questers, let's get straight to the point. We hate it when we need to factory reset our quest or quest 2. Factory resetting is a radical and a rather brute way of fixing most common quest issues and it means that you will need to go through the setup process again, find and re-download all your games and if the cloud backup didn't get triggered on time then you might even end up losing some of your game saved data. And I'm here to tell you that you don't always need to factory reset your quest anytime you have a minor issue because many Many of these issues can be fixed with side quests. We have also just released the new update version 27, which adds even more tricks and ways to save your quest data. You can update side quests now or install it from here if you haven't already by following the steps in our video linked here in the corner and also in the description below. So let's take a look at some awesome side quest life hacks that you need to know to avoid the factory reset and simply to have a better experience using your quest or quest 2. Occasionally you may come across this issue when one of your apps is stuck uninstalling on your headset and nothing seems to work even if you restart your headset. Factory resetting used to be the best solution, but don't do that. Instead, go to SideQuest, click on Installed Apps, then Show All, find the app called com.oculus.ocms and then go to Settings and click Clear App Data. And as simply as that, you avoided the dreaded factory reset and solved the problem of the stuck app. Recently, some Quest users started reporting that their Quest shows the wrong date and time in the future. It's a little bit spooky and what's worse, it breaks the Wi-Fi settings so users cannot connect to the internet. Nobody knows exactly why it happens, but what's crazy is that you cannot manually change the time on your Quest. And the official recommendations from Oculus is, once again, to factory restore your headset. If you don't want to do that, SideQuest is here once again to save the day. Go to SideQuest and sideload the app called Open Settings. This tool will allow you to open the inbuilt Android settings screen and from there you will be able to access the time settings and fix the problem without factory resetting your headset. Simple solution, happy SideQuesters! I also wanted to address the issue with texture resolutions. In recent weeks, lots of users have been reporting that texture resolution settings were no longer working on recent firmwares. I'm here to tell you that they do work and in fact, they never stopped working in games, but you can no longer see those changes in your Oculus home environments. So all you need to know here is that you will no longer see the texture resolution changes in your home space, but you will see them when you run a VR game. So just go to SideQuest settings, change the resolutions and in your headset, start a game and enjoy the difference. So lots of issues can be fixed with SideQuest so that you don't need to wipe out your quest by performing a factory reset. But unfortunately, some Sometimes it's inevitable. So when the time comes for you to finally factory restore your headset, SideQuest is here to make this process as painless as possible. My biggest fear when I factory reset my quest is losing game data and the recent quest update introduced cloud backups, which is a great feature, but even now many users still lose their saved files because cloud backup doesn't always get triggered on time. And there is no way to trigger the backup for all apps at the same time. The the newest SideQuest update version 27 adds the much needed feature of triggering the cloud backup for all your apps simultaneously, giving you the peace of mind and ensuring that all your cloud saved files are fully up to date, so you can perform the factory reset without any worries. When you go to the currently installed app tab, you will see the new button that says cloud backup. Click on it and then trigger cloud backup. When the backup is complete, you will see this confirmation message with the link to see your available backups on the Oculus website, so you know that you're ready to factory reset your quest because all your saved data is safe and sound. Quest and Quest 2 has a proximity sensor, which means that when you remove your headset, it immediately goes to sleep. This is made to preserve your battery life, and even though it immediately awakens when you put it back on, sometimes you may lose your guardian for a few seconds or even get logged out of an online game. The new SideQuest update now allows you to disable the proximity sensor. Go to the Device Settings and Tools tab and click on Disable under Proximity Sensor. Your headset will immediately awaken and it will not go to sleep anymore unless you click the power button. Just remember to click it if you remove your headset for a long time so that your battery doesn't die too fast. And if you want to re-enable the Proximity Sensor, all you will need to do is restart your quest. 
Another small update is that now when you go to the side quest file manager, you can see the total space and the available space on the headset. Lastly, if you're a Synthriders fan, you will also enjoy the newest update to organizing the folders to upload custom materials. Before, those folders were located inside the game folder. So if you uninstall the game for some reason, you would lose those custom files. Now the game will create custom content folders outside of the game installation folder. Not only is it easier to find and manage your custom content, but also you will not lose it if you uninstall or reinstall the game. Well done, Synthriders! I hope that you will find these features helpful in your daily quest adventures. We are really happy that we can provide our users with ways to fix some of their quest issues without resorting to the drastic measure of factory restoring your headset. So we hope that you found value in this video. Let me know in the comments what you think about these features. There are so many more tricks up our sleeves, so make sure to subscribe to see more VR life hacks with SideQuest. See you soon and happy VR discoveries! Thank <laughs> you.